This is research ethics class. So we said research ethics, the title, the general title of today's class. And uh, the contents of this class is, as you see, uh, starts with ethics and business ethics, ethics and meta-ethics theories, scientific ethics, historical process and conceptual framework, different dimensions of science and ethics, scientific research ethics, publication ethics, professional ethics of education, universities and scientists, precautions to be taken against ethical violations and ethics training. As you see, it is quite comprehensive and detailed class. So let's start with the first chapter, which is ethics and business ethics. It is possible to say that even in the most primitive human societies, ethics together with other written and unwritten rules was used with the aim of sustaining the social system. As you see, there is a close relationship between ethics and ethics attitudes and the social system. This is not only about the academic or scholar world, but also it is directly related to the daily life of an ordinary person. So, we will now continue with normative ethical theories. Normative ethical theories are generally divided into three groups. Consequent, consequentialist theories, deontological theories, and virtue ethics. The first two, consequentialist and deontological theories, are perceived as opposites of each other in modern philosophy. So, chapter 6, which is titled Publication Ethics. Now we can continue with further details, details about publication ethics. As you already know, we, we gave uh, some broad explanations and details about publication ethics. Now we can go further and more specific uh, with the details. So, scientific and educational publications are the most important products in which scientists evaluate their research results and educational experiences both permanently and extensively. Research articles are considered the most important indicator of a scientist's scientific production. On the other hand, monographs in which a series of articles published by the author on a certain subject are put into a systematic or review articles that bring together other studies in this field also make valuable contributions to the research literature. The next title is Obligation of Stakeholders in Terms of Academic Ethics. The Declaration of Principles, published by the American Association of University Professors in 1915, is one of the first regulations that includes the ethical principles that faculty members will base their behavior on. The Declaration of Principles was significantly amended in 1925, 1940 and 1970 and has since been revised many times as well. In this declaration, which is still valid, the obligations of faculty members are ex examined in five dimensions. The first one is to the profession, the second one is to colleagues, the third one is to students, the, the fourth one is to the institution and the last one is to society. Now we can make further explanations about these five dimensions. So these are our last these were the, our, our last words of this course. Thank you very much for your patience and thank you very much for your attention. I hope it was useful for you and hope to see you with with other courses. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice and successful career with your with your studies. Thanks. Bye.